More than 200,000 signatures. That's what the group Nevadans for Reproductive Freedom say they have gathered statewide to place an amendment into the Nevada Constitution guaranteeing abortion rights. And they predict that voters in November are going to take the first step toward enshrining those rights in the state constitution. Supporters of the petition needed just more than 102,000 signatures to qualify the measure. Now the Nevada Secretary of State will review a random sample, and if enough are valid, it goes on the ballot in November. Lindsay Harmon, president of the group Nevadans for Reproductive Freedom, said gathering that many signatures in just three months shows Nevada is a pro-choice state. With this constitutional amendment, Nevadans are saying enough is enough. Nevadans are ready to take their uh, matters into our own hands, and we will see you in November. But Melissa Clement, executive director of Nevada Right to Life, says Democrats are highlighting abortion to distract from issues such as the economy or crime. I see Democrats using what is arguably one of the most traumatic experiences any woman would ha ever have to go through, regardless of the reason, and they're using it for political gain. I think it's reprehensible, and as a woman, it offends me greatly. In Nevada, abortion is already protected in law because voters approved a pro-choice referendum in 1990. That law can't be changed without a second vote of the people. But if this amendment is ultimately adopted, abortion rights will be written into the state constitution, and changing that is a lengthy process that takes about five years. In the meantime, Nevada has seen an influx of patients from states with greater abortion restrictions, including neighboring Idaho, Utah, and Arizona. Now, voters approve this proposed amendment in November. It goes back on the ballot in 2026. If they approve it then, it goes into effect shortly after that election. Reporting from the Clark County Government Center, I'm Steve Sebelius.